Hello, welcome to the second video in the series where we will look at our very first adjustment layer, the exposure. Okay, so all we need to do is come over here and then add exposure. So what I want you to notice is this exposure always comes with layer max thumbnail and the layer thumbnail. Okay, so this is the exposure thumbnail. Alright. So, whichever adjustment layer that you get to add will always come with this mask and the mask helps you to either hide or reveal, just as the name implies, mask, okay? So now this is the property that we're going to adjust to either correct the overall brightness level in this image or how dark the image is, but for this image, we want to just correct the overall brightness level using exposure. Okay, but then whenever you use exposure or whichever adjustment layer that you get to use, ensure you are careful when using it. Don't overuse it or abuse it because the essence is to make your image appears more appealing and better off, okay? So we have added exposure and it's above this image. Ensure it is above the image, not below. If you apply it below, you won't, the, the effect won't be visible. So ensure it is above it, okay? So now all we need to do is this. When you move this slide this 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 button on the slider okay this is actually working but then it's not ideal you do this so let me undo so the best way you can do this is to come over to the title where it says exposure and then you can slide it to the right like so so we don't want the value to change that much so that is why we are using this this is very good okay so let's bring it back a bit okay so this is fine so we'll head over to the offset as well and make slight adjustments in the offset okay let's see okay so now the gamma correction is the opposite of this two, and what it means is when I move to the left like so is the opposite of this. When I move to the left, this gets brighter, but then gamma gets darker. Okay, so what gamma does is this is affect the overall mid-tones. So looking at this eyedropper um symbols so now this is the darkest point this is the brightest point as you can see now this is the gray point you can see black points gray points and then this is the white point okay so the mid tones is the gray point all right so now this is very important. You can either hide what you added or reveal it, okay? So then you can undo what you did, but for now we don't want to undo. We are okay with what we have. Then you can add clip, okay? Meaning this will affect only this image so whichever image or element that i'm going to add later will not be affected by exposure if this is clipped okay so when it's unclipped it's going to affect any image below this or any element below this so i want you to take note of this fact okay so let's have it clipped okay so now we're going to look at the layer max thumbnail all right so the layer max thumbnail what it does it is this it either reveal or hide the exposure effect you added now this is the exposure effect you can turn it off you can turn it on 
you can turn it off here as well sorry you can select it and turn it off here as well you can select the mask you can also turn off the mask that you added so we've not added anything yet so now like i said before the layer max works directly with your overlapping square so when it is black and you paint with your brush you're going to see the part that was hidden by what you did here so this is what you did okay so when i come over to this mask and i paint you can see now you won't see the effect that much because i reduced the opacity to 31 percent but when i move it to like 100 percent and i paint can you see the effect is now very much you can even see it visible here so let's undo so it's ideal you reduce the level of opacity to make the effects um, looks professional because if you make it 100 percent it's going to be very sharp and your your color grading will not be good all right so that is the reason why you will need to play around with your opacity and for you to get the best result okay so another thing again i want you to take note of is this when you're using the mask so because we're actually re revealing some part that uh we feel that they are too dark but ensure why you do that take note of this part so this is where your light source is coming from so there's another light source that is hitting him on the face so ensure what you're doing here it's not um, the light the lightness level here it's not more than the light source okay so it's like you having a bulb here and then the light is being cast on the subject but then the light on this subject is now brighter than the bulb which is not possible okay so that is what i mean so whenever you do while revealing some part here ensure there is a balance ensure it is not brighter than this so if you want to um now we are revealing if you want to hide you can just press x or d it will toggle this you can see so you want to hide you can see we are hiding some part all right so that is all i have for you on exposure so see you guys in the next video